What's up guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and inside of this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix Finder Search. If your Finder Search sucks, if you put in the exact right file and it still doesn't show up, you know it's there, but Finder just won't show you anything, this is probably the problem and a 20 second solution that is going to fix it forever, okay? So let's hit that intro and get into it. All right, guys, so it's pretty simple. I don't know about you, but I can be driven nuts by the fact that you go into Finder, you type in the exact name of a document you know exists, and it still doesn't show up. So this is probably why you have an issue with your computer's indexing. Now, what is indexing? Pretend you go into a giant library. It's got millions of books, okay? You walk in there, and it's like, I want a specific book. How do I find this? Well, that library probably has a kind of written record of where each book is. So you'd look at that record, you'd be like, okay, I want this one. It's on floor six, row nine, shelf B, okay? That's what an index is. It tells your computer where every single file is. So then when you go into Finder Search, you basically type in the name and it says, oh, it's right here in this document in this folder in this shelf, okay? So what we need to do is fix the index. So to do that, you're going to head over to the little Apple window in the top left-hand corner of your screen and hit System Preferences. From there, you're going to find this little icon that says Spotlight, all right? Now, there's two different tabs in here, so you can hit Privacy or you can hit Search Results. What we want to do is go into Privacy and hit this little plus icon, and we're going to select the hard drive of our computer. So in my case, it's this one right here. I'm going to hit Choose. Are you sure you want to prevent Spotlight from searching Macintosh HD? And we're going to hit OK because we actually want Spotlight to throw out that old index and build a brand new one. So in order to do that, first we have to say, don't search this thing. And Spotlight will be like, OK, and it will delete that index. So we're going to hit OK. And just to be safe, I'm also going to go in and add just Ryan Breitkreitz. OK, I got it. That was the only hard drive. I've added it. All right, perfect. So I've added the same one twice, that doesn't really matter. Basically what Spotlight has done is it's gone through, it said, okay, I'm not searching this anymore, and it's thrown away that old index. Now we wait a couple of seconds, no real rhyme or reason to it, then we're going to hit the minus button and get rid of it. Okay, so what have we just done? We've gotten Spotlight to throw away the old index, and now it's going to start creating a new index. Now this might take a couple of minutes, but theoretically, when you hop back into Finder window, say give it five, 10 minutes, you should find that now all of a sudden, all of your files show up the way they're supposed to inside of search. Really quick, really simple, problem is solved. When I found this, it blew my mind. mind. So if this has helped you so far, can you do me a favor, hit that like button and leave a comment below just so we know like, okay, it works on this Mac, it works on this Mac, not on this Mac. So I don't know if this works on every Mac, but probably it will work on yours. Now from there, there is one more thing that you can do just to improve Finder Search because I don't know about you, but once in a while I'll put in the name of a file. So for example, I'll pull up the beautiful, the lovely, the incredible Finder and I will search for like Apple because I want a photo of an apple or something like that. And then what winds up showing up is all sorts of stuff I would never use. Like why do I need Apple instrument loops to show up in search? I don't. Now you can actually see where these are located. So in my case, they're located in this weird subfolder. I could get rid of that. Apple ProRes, QQ, blah, blah, blah. I could get rid of that. And what we can do is actually get rid of certain folders in Finder Search. So what we're going to do again is go into our search results only selected categories will appear in Spotlight search results. So we could actually remove things that we're never going to use. So if we went in here and we don't want mail and messages to be searched, just uncheck it. If we don't want Siri suggestions to show up, just uncheck it. Um, or the other way, if that doesn't show up in that little selection, is just going to privacy. We're going to do the same thing, only we're going to navigate to wherever it is that we don't want to use stuff. So for example, I really don't need anything to show up in my library search or inside of my iOS support search. So I could just choose that and get rid of it forever, not gonna show up in Finder search. I find that another one that always shows up is if we go into developer, where are we here? Another one that always shows up is library results. It'll show up stuff like this which just has caches show up and all sorts of things that I don't need to show up. So I'm just going to go choose and bam, 
Now nothing from that particular folder is going to show up in my finder search anymore. So that's how you can take it to the next level and just refine it, make that search work even better. So if this video was helpful, can you do me a big favor? Can you hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment below, just let me know it worked, it didn't work, whatever. And if you want more tutorials like this, I guess subscribe if you're feeling generous. I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, create something awesome. Peace.